A 5 kilogram block moves with constant speed of 10 meters per second to the right on a smooth surface where frictional forces are considered to be negligible. It passes through a 2 meter rough section of the surface where friction is not negligible. And the coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the rough section, uh, mu k, is 0.2. What is the change in kinetic energy of the block as it passes through the rough section? All right. So with this one, we're definitely taking a look to find the change in energy at the work energy theorem. But the whole idea here is that it starts off with some initial kinetic energy, and then work is done by friction. That's the only outside force that's doing any work on this block system. And that's like FR for friction. And then at the end, you've got kinetic energy final like a good lowercase f right there. So the work that's done by friction is actually what we're looking for here. Because if I subtract k initial to the side, I get k final minus k initial, which is equal to the change in kinetic energy. So absolutely, that is what we're talking about here. Now with work, I've got to know that we're talking about fd cosine theta where F is the force of friction. And D refers to this displacement, uh, that this is moving to the right. Together, they make a 180 degree angle. So this cosine is gonna be the cosine of 180 degrees, which is negative one. And that actually makes a ton of sense here, that it would be negative one because friction is going to take energy away from our block right now. Uh, as it takes ener kinetic energy away from the block and turns that into heat energy along the surface. So I can immediately rule out option C and D, that work is not gonna add any energy to this. And then the force of friction is the coefficient of friction times the normal force times the distance, or the normal force is just equal to m, chi m times g. No inclines, no extra vertical forces here, just balanced forces. And we're given the coefficient of friction is 0.2. The mass of the block is 5 kilograms. g, I'm going to say, is 10 newtons per kilogram, but if you use 9.8, you get a real similar answer, and only one of those could reasonably be correct, times the distance, and that's only the distance of the rough section. That's the only place where the force is doing any work, and that is 2 meters, and then all that times that negative 1 from before. If I work out the math, it ends up being negative 20 joules. And that is our answer. 20 joules of energy is removed from the block because we knew how to calculate work, we knew how to calculate the force of friction, and we could relate work to the change in energy of this block.